Hi friends, it's Prototype and I am streaming or uploading about to play while recording uh, a little moment of Rift. Um, if you, you haven't, because I haven't uploaded them, nor do I plan to, uh, I've been playing Rift a fair bit lately. Uh, kind of got back into it a little bit. Um, kind of got bored of the same old, same old whatnot. So I had played Rift quite some time ago. Uh, as you can see, my character here, Secure, is level 66. Not, uh, not something new to me. Uh, so I'm just going to check in with the stuff that I've already got. Get some salvage the the artifacts that I haven't quite collected or that I have already collected maybe I can complete a set so what uh, we'll break it down if you haven't played rift before uh, this is rift so uh, the art design is pretty good mounts characters people um, it's got uh, dimensions which are kind of an in-game um, housing system they can really be whatever you want but that's the easiest way to to describe how they are they're your own little personal spot standard stuff there's crafting mis uh, quests missions whatever you want to call them um, gathering quests uh, professions I'm just gonna select all these here because I'm gonna grind out some uh, some whatnot. Kind of at a point now with this character that um, I'm almost, I'm, I don't want to say bored there. So there's a maxed out of that. Um, yeah, not bored, but kind of at a stand still with my quest uh, with my skill sets professions the uh, skills so you can see um you know you got apothecary armor smith outfitter weapon smith art artificer Ar Arbiter. yeah i'll leave it with that rune crafter mining foraging survival butchering fishing dream weaver now the thing that i do like about rift that i've always liked about rift and affinity points uh, your in-game store, accessed with the right side square bracket key. Um, you buy credits. That's the premium currency in the store. You can buy... Uh, where do you get them? I actually don't know where to get them. But you can get an item called a Rex. And with Rex, you can sell. You can sell it on the auction house. You do a private trade, whatever, whatever, whatever. whatever. Uh, services? It's not a DLC. I just check services. Boost? Probably not a boost. Anyway, don't know how to get it. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, okay, so there it is. So you can see Rex. You can um, you buy it for 10 bucks. You get 1,250 credits. And then you can sell it. With credits, everything costs credits. Uh, very rarely and only one time. You can buy cash items, but that's the only one I'm aware of that you can pay cash for, other than DLC. <coughs> I am wrong. Maybe you just buy DLC off Steam or something, or the uh, Glyph uh, Launcher launcher service. Uh, backing that all. So the thing I like about Rift is you get three professions wrong key oh no right key you start with three professions um so let's say you're going to pick weaponsmith you want to be a weaponsmith well what are you going to do with weaponsmith well we we know that you need uh you need ore bars so you take mining mining converts ore to bars weaponsmith use those to build your uh, 
your item. This is actually a quest item, it's special. And then once in a while, for the higher for the more advanced recipes, you may actually have to buy products from the store with in-game currency. So you see I've got 154 platinum, 46 gold, and 88 silver. One of these salt fluxes to build higher level items. I mean, this is a 60 level axe at not quite top end uh, weapon smithing. But I have to buy a salt fluck from the store or auction house if somebody for whatever reason is selling it. Uh, everything else is craftable. Uh, there's the quest. Um, so then you pick your third. Usually, rune crafter is a filler, or um, yeah, one of the uh, one of the uh, gathering professions to sell off. Rune crafter. What a rune is is you can craft them, equip them. They're kind of like a like a war wow enchantment. I don't have much of this here, so you'll see. Oh, yeah. The fine rune of wisdom, wisdom plus 60. Duh. So it's kind of an enchantment, but under a different name. Um, and that's rune crafter. With rune crafter, what you can also do is rune crafter gives you a rune break. Rune break lets you look at an item. Huh. I don't know why I could break that down. Uh, an item, trinket, heaven forbid, even a backpack, um, and break it down into rune crafting pieces. I haven't found a reason or a breakdown on what breaks down under what. We all, uh, if you're an old WoW player, and I'm an old WoW player, so I'm going to refer back to that, because this was supposed to be the big WoW killer uh, back when it was released. You break down... Uh, armor, you got dust, you break down weapons, you got whatever they were, something else. I haven't found any correlation in Rift to breaking down of equipment which generates whatever. Uh, like, I've got arcs. Kinetic arc. Uh, let me see if I find something. Yeah, so crystals, arcs, uh, there's some kind of, there it is, powders. They all take up for uh, rune crafting, they all get used for rune crafting, and then you get the single piece of stars. I'm not sure what breaks down into what. If there's some kind of breakdown, uh, level, color, no idea. Haven't really dug too much into it because I don't care that much. But that's uh, that's what that works. Anyway, back to my point. A little squirreled out there. In Rift, you can buy extra skills. So, with this character, quite some time ago, I was actually investing a fair bit in, in credits because I was really, really, really loving playing this game. And I decided, well, rather than switch characters uh, to do Artificer, or let's say I wanted backpacks, or uh, because clerics use chain, I needed armor smith. Why don't I just grind up one? Just get everybody to make one. Or uh, one character to make it all. So I did. So now this character has every profession. Now, going back to professions and the different ones. Let me pop that back open. We've got fishing, which is a free freebie, quote unquote. Buy the stuff. Oop, not that. Fishing hole. Um, again, this is another quest item. I just grabbed all the all the daily uh, crafting quests, um, and that's there. There you go, crafting. <laughs> uh, so, fishing will upgrade your pole. So I don't know what fishing rod I have right now. Check the picture to maybe quickly identify it. Is it in the hot bar? Yeah, there it is. Lucky fishing pole. So I still need to upgrade. 
so I need some laminated Mad Rosa lumber. Oh, well, let's go find some. Uh, like most other games with crafting, you have to go to a crafting station. In this major city, crafting stations are all in here, all but one. So these are crafting station, workbench, forge, laboratory. Um, all but one are in here. And that's because it was added late into the game. those so I'm gonna mount up so the last profession is dimension specific and it's Dreamweaver Dreamweaver is well it makes stuff for dimensions but it does have a couple items that are kind of like runes and they are dream orbs so they give stat bonuses That's all I get to say. They also make keys. If you want to make profet uh, make dimension keys to sell to other people, you can do that too. Uh, standard stuff. No, actually, I'll grab that. Uh, so you've got. Oh yeah, I'll start with there. So the big differences with Rift are uh, people are familiar with the. I forget what they call them in and wow and other games you get your talent trees <coughs> pardon me make sure I'm not on mute <laughs> so your talent trees are the same but different um, you've got three trees this shows up at near the end it's your mastery which every level this was the old level gap or the old level extension after a certain point get away from that uh, however the main as you're grinding leveling up you get uh, your trees so you know one one two three four they stage up at four yeah they stage up at four uh, you can max them out you can branch them out but the one thing let me I wonder yeah I'm not gonna do that is you can set multiple roles again you start with a default of so many um, if you really want to expand it I don't even know if I've used them oh what did I just show oh that's what I okay so I showed you the wrong thing talking about it trade skill extension unlocks another trade skill However, going back up, um, that was roll. Roll war front. Nope, nope, nope. Maybe you don't buy them here. Anyway, uh, you can expand them. No, you do that or buy another. But yes, you can up them. Certain things already give you a couple. You start with a couple. Level gives you a couple. I think you can go up. You start with a base of like three or four. Anyway, uh, yeah, you get all that. So I've played around. I don't think I've looked at the Druid pet one recently. I don't really tank on this one, but I did assign the roles. Now, what that means, let's go to Druid. I had a different way that I'm used to, but okay. So now I've switched. Character doesn't really change that much. Spells change. So no, Druid's got pets, and this is what I wanted to show you. Every class has different souls they're called and you get to pick in your talent tree I'll call it what do they call it soul tree 
what souls you want to assign for your character. So for a druid, which is what I've got, I've got these, Oracle, Druid, Defiler, and they all assign. So you'll see Defiler's, Defiler's Offensive, Oracle's a Support Soul, Druid is Offense, then you've got Shaman, you know, Offensive, Sentinel's Healer, Justicar's a Tank, uh, another Healing, more Healing, Rune Shaper is DPS, Cabalist is AoE DPS, which is my main role on this character. And Inquisitor is my other main role, secondary role, uh, which is also DPS. Um, and you can you can customize it. Uh, so sometimes there's presets. So you'd be like, okay, you know, I want to be damage, healing, tank, support. And, you know, it's nice and easy. There's a little brief done by a player usually usually gives credit oh there it is building guide provided by grins so nature's vengeance druid justicar inquisitor you'll see your druid is your main damage justicar is your defense uh, tank build and Inquisitor for some extra damage and you can just pow you want to tweak it out a little bit let's say you like the fact that Oracle is a support and gives a touch more you know absorption healing like an off healer off tank your druid you know he's tank but he's got pets your defiler you see that I actually haven't put any points into defiler uh, generally I don't like using all three <laughs> but that's what it is. Oh, I get to pick a legendary on this. So after 65, the previous, oh, man, I didn't pick a 65 yet. So you can see I haven't used the Druid, uh, Druid soul in quite some time. Just give me a minute while I check. Thirty percent damage reduction. Interesting. Uh, so I'm doing this for damage. Does damage. Frozen wrath. Do I have frozen wrath? Doesn't look like I use frozen wrath anyway. Soul stream, damage or heal. It's a dot, channel dot. Well, channeled. Healing. Applies six stacks. Divine presence. What is divine presence? I'm not going to see that in here because that's a different thing. It's a healing buff. I'll use this. It doesn't do a lot of damage, uh, but it does multi-purpose. So I'm gonna save, drag that down here, put it, I'm gonna put it here, move that over to seven. That's where I like to put it. So Alt Five is either damage or heal. Oh, that's that one. I know that one. So I picked up my other ones too. Uh, and then I get to pick a legendary. Legendaries have a little frame. This is a newer thing. Deals more damage. Deals the same damage, but non-druid abilities deal no. that out deals damage damage is increased for ten percent natural force I 
Ah, so the natural force stack, instead of wiping them, it drops two. Okay, mimicry, do I use that? I do use that. What does that do? If cast, the target selected when healing applies five stacks of natural force. Ooh. Cause your next two cleric do abilities do not. Ah, huh. not have a cooldown. Cool. And up on this side. Oh, I'll go into that in a moment. look at that more because it seems this is uh, missing a fair bit but um, what the way this tree's broken down is you start here as you're moving up you move up these actually progress automatically based on how many points you put in so at 61 point or yeah 61 points which is almost a full tree or a full tree in this case you get the the last one so you can see how they're numbered so there's that but i don't play cleric or druid much uh what else can i talk about rift um minion missions i use a little shortcut um mod but minion missions, you can send minions, which you gather in different ways. Um, you'll see I have a bunch. You can send them on little missions, adventures, depending on what you want to do with them. Um, so you've got minion experience missions. They're always the same. You've got, what do they call it? Gathering resource missions of different sorts. Um, I mean, essentially everything gathers resources. Then you've got uh, long-term missions of the same thing, really. You get notoriety, but it's all resource gathering. So really it's experience short, long, and premium gives just better stuff, but it costs currency. It costs either credits or adventuring. Adventuring you get from running quests, adventures. So. If you're watching that, you can see down at the bottom. I got two for the last one. I don't know, maybe you get some per. No, it's not per star. And uh, that's how that works. So, you know, lately I haven't been really doing too much with the adventure. And uh, I do, will I will grind a whole bunch later I don't know if you can buy anything with it looking 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 hmm. looks like I can get more pretty more minions though air and diplomacy that's breezy these are void stones Fire and harvesting, you'll see uh, in the window, the different minions have different icons and different values. 25 is the max level. I don't know how many you, they earn per, <coughs> but they earn experience, which helps level them up. The experience is the, the blue circle, and then the number is the level. Little Reggie. <laughs> Adorable should really level him up. I don't know why he's level one. Maybe that's what I'll grind for now. I'll do some leveling up. So the bar all it does is automatically assign based on a template I've already given. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like I can buy anything for adventuring. Uh, I bought the standard ones. I try and collect as many as I can. I like doing the dimension stuff, which is the, uh, the housing design. Don't, 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 don't buy any of those. What do we got? Water 
second dimension. So definitely going to get him. I already have him. Yep, yep. Yep. You can see I have actually been trying to grab them. I don't really do a lot of the classic end game stuff, so I'm not that concerned that I'm not. Is that actually, oh, that was an artifact collection. I already had him. Oh, shit. I wonder if I can sell him back. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, that's here. Shop. Watch my void stones. Yep, got him back for a hundred. Oh, douche move. Oh well. Then you can buy them with uh, credits. Uh, salvage that. So, what the salvage does as you play. You can find them, you can get them from missions, you can get them, uh, find them in the wild. You get these things called artifacts. They build collections. Collections. Not sure what screen that's actually in. That's the store. Won't be in the store. Should be right off the character screen. Of course, it was right in front of the... Oh, artifacts. Um, you get artifacts. And let's just search. So there, so you've got artifacts. And you go through... Uh, I'll go through and I'll do a search for some or the none that I already have. I don't have any complete. Okay, yeah, incomplete. So you'll see that, you know, this is uh, 61, level 61 range. I've got three out of four, five out of six, four out of five, blah, 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 blah. And you go, and what the way it works, collect those minions, set them off on level ups. Um, it's not really easy to show where they are. They are hidden, uh, but they show up as a little white sparkle. You collect them. It's semi-random, and then you go from there. Uh, what else can I talk about? Instant adventure, planar assault adventures. I don't know what the intrepid adventure actually means. That's new to me, um, but we'll go do a couple planar assaults. So what that is is that is literally just go in instant uh, clearing rifts. So here comes some rift action. A rift is an opening in the world. You see that's a fire rift in front of me. And everybody's over at this one. And it drops in enemies from another dimension, blah, blah, blah. It's the, the core story of the game. Buff myself up before I fight. And just start throwing some spells out there. So this combat, you know, we've got... I mean, what is that? Bunch of people here. Doing their thing. Uh, the... This, I can't shouldn't be a mod I think it's literally just uh, uh, just the raid frames just for simplicity's sake I like the, how the simple raid frame there so everybody's got pets everybody's got combat pets 
I don't have a combat pet. I'm assuming you can get them from other places, but uh, I've only seen them in the store so far. And then the rift goes away. Yay! As you get rift and uh, some quests, you get the little whatever that section is actually called instant loot box. So that was me. I uh, have an ability that lets me gather all, them all up. Kaboom. Come on. Why can I not? What are the conditions? Oh, you already have it. Oh, I think we have another. Uh, so I can't use my uh, Tyranny of Death spell because it looks like we have another cleric in the bunch. try and keep it on me rather than or one target rather than have to fight him see he, he just exploded yeah Detonate it, cast it. Uh, the way this roll actually works is uh, I cast that, spread it with that, and then I can detonate it for extra damage. I forget what color I am, I'm green. Also, left nut is the other cleric. So rifts have different stages, and if you can clear them fast enough, you get into the bonus. So let's do that. Cast it one more time. He'll explode it. Yeah. So it's just it's just deadly. And then you get because it's an instant adventure, they have these kind of reward. Uh, chests that you can get uh, the leveling up is from the the adventures the minion adventures I'm doing and we go back to the rift this is really simplistic it's not the example of uh, of what's actually going on in regular stuff but it's nice and quick for some action You'll see I've got my damage meter down this far. So I don't know how... Uh... How uh, his DPS is. I'm way... Eh, not that far down. But he and I, in terms of... This was a DPS battle. We're kind of fighting each other. Oh. Here are these. I'm using spell number six, which is a, a three stack dot damage over time. Uh, the Catalyst Soul that I'm playing 
is a um, is a uh, very heavy dots and some pretty big explosions. AOE combat. And the very uncommon channel. Lots of debuffs. It's almost, um, to compare it to, for the WoW players, um, it's really kind of like a Warlock. I think Warlock has its own soul. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's off mage, but uh, you know it does its thing. I'm happy with it. I like the uh, I like the um, AOE and the big explosions and being able to channel in everything. I can control how much I act oh, I actually want to um, spread an AOE with these. They're obliteration spells, and I can focus how much I want to use. So if I want to focus and do more damage, but less, less numbers, uh, I can do it that way. If I want to do a lot of damage to, uh, why are you doing that? Um, if I want to do a lot of damage to a single, I can do that. And it's all built into the soul. Jesus, it's so quick. I'll do that with my minions to try and get them up. Uh, the neat thing about the minions and the adventures they go on is as they're leveling up, you uh, as they're leveling up, their numbers actually improve. So you'll see that he's got. 18 hunting and 17 for dimension. So that increase, holy shit. That increases rewards. Uh, so the rewards are, are good. And then I didn't actually say back when I showed, but the rewards are random, semi random. Uh, I don't know what the scaling is like, but as you go through, <clears throat> pardon me, as you're going through, uh, going up the levels, you get better rewards because you're earning more stars. And you probably noticed that while I, uh, probably noticed that while I was redeeming them as they were popping up with the stars saying, hey, by the way, that was a six star adventure, or that was a four, or, you know, whatever. So. That's how that works. I don't know why there's a giant plant bug in the middle. In a fire rift. There he is. So I switch to eight. Kaboom. Set the bomb. Hope my partner kabooms it. Back to seven. So seven does what? Five. Bring them all in. Yeah. Again, it's all AOE based. So I just try and keep a character, some dots, the explosion distribution, big bubble. Keep a track, make sure I've got three stacks. <coughs> Channel spell to take down this turret. The neat thing is if I can keep the dots, you'll see up in the top, up in the corner, I've got three that if I can hit one more as the dot is expiring, I don't have to cast it three times. Different dots, curses, another dot, another dot. Seven is actually like a time bomb type of dot. Boom. Oh, you 
on me. Nope. Somebody else. And that's that. Claim my prizes. Grab my minions. Minions, the minion adventures that I'm doing are very simple. They're only one minute long. Uh, the rest of them are 5 or 15 for the short missions, adventures, uh, the long ones are 8, and then the premium ones are, I think that just said 4, yeah. Aha, there we go. So that is Planar Attunement. Uh, what Planar Attunement is, it's kind of a side version of leveling. Uh, it moves faster than normal. Um, I'll show you that next. So planar attunement is accessed by default by the U key, and you can attune to different planes. It's almost like light talent trees for bonuses. Uh, the neat thing with this uh, Tyranny of Death, the short version is, it's a living bomb. Uh, cast it. It has a timer. You'll see up there, 7 seconds. It's not a dot, but at the end of that 7 seconds, it explodes. And what does it say it does? Yeah, 58,000 to 65,000 damage. Now, what we're doing, the way I say kaboom, is A, it's a bomb, yes. Um... With the kaboom, you can also force it. So disintegration activates that whenever whenever you decide to cast. Sure. I don't know what you just shared, but whenever I play your silly game, oh, it's the dragon thing. Um, so yeah, so get back on there. Uh, so that's that. You can blow it, does more damage. Um, go away. <coughs> Every once in a while you see this little line zap out from me. That's one of my, uh, my abilities. That's my legendary. Is it casts, automatically casts Bound Fate once a second yay you're dead oh cool um, all right so back to back to the bomb I can detonate it I've got two ways of detonating it two different spells the neat thing about the way they've designed that is as I spread it when I cast Bound Fate, or when it automatically triggers, the bomb actually does an AoE to anything in the circle. So, I will cast him, summon them all together, spread it, cast the detonation, and everybody in that area takes the damage from that bomb. Which, if you want to map that out, that is a phenomenal amount of damage, if you have that many people. So when I'm fighting as a Kabbalist cleric, what I like to do is gather as many up as I can. So I will, uh, why? where's my tank? And let's heal me. Uh, 
Yeah, they all fucked off. Thank you. Like, I know we've got a mission here, but if people are killing mobs at the beginning, don't fuck off on them. over here. <coughs> Pardon me. Luckily, somebody was healing me. I don't know who. I'm hoping it was one of the pets just got distracted. Alright, so I'm going to stop doing this after we get this little, yeah. Huh. Complete seven. Oh, that's sweet. Alright, so I'm going to quit. Back to my home shard. Wait. It didn't teleport me back? <laughs> oh, okay. That was supposed to bounce me back to my home shard. I don't even know if I... <laughs> That's hilarious. Center of life. Hmm. All right. Well, that's a, a hiccup. Um, instant actions are kind of the same. Uh, they're not rifts, but they're other stuff. Um, Just check my guild. Rips the grand experience. Yay. Oh, I'll show you what's in the chest while I'm, you know, stuck here. Actually, you know what I will do? Instant adventure. Q for that teleport in and hopefully hopefully it'll unglitch when I quit these so let's see leave return to Tempest Bay yes there quick little escape I could have done um, a couple of my portals uh, at this high level I've got other things I can do that was probably the simplest. So, as your adventure, somehow I got an artifact. Great. I get crates of stuff. Cosmic Death Core. Hmm. Celestial Remnants. I don't know what those are. Haven't really looked into it. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Occasionally gear. That's better than what I got. Uh, some items have the double arrows, and you can upgrade them in a chain. Um, because these are the old school item, I knew I wouldn't be able to. Just like, yeah, level 66 ring versus the level 65 ring. It's not really a surprise. So I will... Oh, I'll replace the blue ring for sure. Yeah, and then I'll break the ring to get stuff for my rune crafting. Uh, minions. 
crafting is pretty straightforward. Oh, I'll show you the dimensions. I'll show you viewers. So the dimensions I've been collecting, so I have a whole lot of keys. These are inactive, so I have to jump through a couple hoops to go through them. Uh, dimension can be pretty straightforward. I'll launch into the dormant core dimension. <coughs> So Dormant Core uh, is a real spot in the game world. Uh, I did drop this in here. It's a dream focus, so I can come here right at the beginning, just ca uh, craft some stuff without distractions, or just if I want to do some uh, some crafting in here. Uh, however, the main stuff is actually upstairs. You see, that's actually dropped there from me. I think I put this house here. I don't remember. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet or if I'm going to even use this one. But it's here. I've got three slots that I was able to... Uh, three slots I was able to put stuff in. So I can do that. Again, it's basically a hole in the earth surrounded by water. There is boundaries. Um, they aren't necessarily visible. So I put that there. It's a building. So again, some water. I don't remember everything I put in here. There's 58 items, though. So this little bridge I made. Beautiful textures. Like, the black marble is kind of neat. And I made a floor. You know, uh, more bridge stuff. I think I planted these here. Yeah, so I planted all that. You can see the highlights. Uh, some lighting effect. Any non-visible item shows up like that. This is a distance measuring. I just put it there for shits and giggles. Building itself is actually pretty widespread. You can go in, it's got some things. I'm going to turn off edit, just in case. Uh, that may or may not have been included. There's an elevator. Go up to the top, see what's up here. Pretty sure I put that there. Then you can see the rest. I cannot go out that far, but because it's based on the map, um, it does show a little bit further out. Houses, I've got those houses there I planted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go see those houses. So the houses are prefabricated. Most of this has already been here. Yeah, so the houses are houses. I think I was storing houses here temporarily. Some are simple. Some are not. Yeah, I was using some of this for storage. So you got some lighting effects, some rocks. Small house or the big house? Just a small house. I think this is supposed to be a bar from one of the other zones. Yeah. Pretty big house. I actually don't know how far out I can go. Yeah, so there's the there's the wall. Kind of disappointed it doesn't show a shimmer of a wall, but it's not that too uh, too bad of a scenario. <coughs> so like I said, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do anything with this one. Um, I might use the other one. But let's go to a different one. 
So I do have a storage area. So storage is literally this, uh, I didn't update the name, uh, is really just a, it's a blank field. It's a flat black desert, or blank desert. So anything you see in here has actually been dropped, semi-organized by me. So any of these things are items that you can get to decorate dimensions. Can't make that jump. So the pools of... I don't know, wine. We've got some large boats. Uh, the weather effect. Time of day. Massive ferries. Boulders. The tree bridge. All the rocks. You see I've got housing collections over here. Ground effect. Lighting effects. So you can see that. Uh, these over here, oh, these over here are time effects just from random collections, mostly missions or adventures. Uh, they're time of day effects, so I can pick those up. Some of them are sky effects. I've got a lighting section over here. All these have their own lights. I also have some ambient lighting that really isn't that noticeable. These are music. I don't know how that works yet. I think you drop one and it just plays in that area. Walls, spires, gross creepy stuff. Big walls, bridge. Again, some of the houses. Some of these you can enter, some are not. So like this one's not too bad. Snow covered. I got my trees. A lot of the trees have been shrunk. You can manipulate the sizing of things. Walls, floors, roofs, windows, stairs. If you want to build your own. Um, so yeah, so a lot of these trees are um, shrunk, for example. Let's grab this. Put it here. I'll pick it up. So that is its 100% size. <coughs> You'll see the controls are pretty straightforward. Blue, red. Uh, two takes me into rotation. I want to knock the tree over. If you can. Rotations. Other rotations. Four. Four is a reposition. Three is the size. I'm actually going to pick that up and reorient it. Oh no. I moved the backpack. I hate my life right now. That is one glitch they have not gotten rid of. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, three. Let's resize. 100% to 200%. Or a zero, whatever, 10%, I'll call it. Uh, five picks up. And six changes the camera. shrink and then I'll put you back right over here <sighs> there is a console well that's about it eight hours I'll do that later so I'm gonna take this time to say thanks for tuning in thanks for checking out the video um, if you like what you see comment um, subscribe, you know, depending on how you see it, say, say something, um, 
and that's going to be it. So this is Prototype signing off. Except that 